How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Dub and Z with me today. Listen, the last video you guys saw that we actually got the truck home, we got a little bit of work done, found out that we needed to take the steering column out of it and all that good stuff. Y'all did good on that. Y'all did a good job taking that out. Hopefully so, it drives now. Hopefully it drives now. And so we've got just a little bit more. We've only kind of tacked the steering column up in there. So we're going to put the steering column together maybe try to hook the transmission linkage up to the the uh, column shifter and then we're going to get to oil change get the rear diff fluid change so let's go ahead and uh let's get to it because i'm paying these girls by the hour or am i paying y'all with cheeseburgers what am i paying y'all with i'm fine with a cheeseburger oh, yeah. I'm fine with both. <laughs> yeah right so we're gonna get these these fluids changed let's get at it look underneath the, the steering column there and there's two there's two bolts yeah you have to get up underneath there where it's Look up here, like right in here somewhere. Well, I can't see with your finger. There's a bolt right there. I see one, and then there's another one on the other side. Anyway, we gotta take those. We gotta take those nuts loose. So we're going to be using our Michael Pro Tool ratchets and sockets today. Michael Pro Tool is sponsoring this build, or one of our partners with this build. And uh, you can save 15% with HF15 at GoMichaelPro.com. they got really good stuff, so check them out. Let's see what size that is for that particular piece there. Let's try this. Now this is a... On the 11 16th uh, and look up underneath there but don't let it come don't let it come all the way out it's too big oh yeah let me make sure you're on the right he said it, she said it was too, too big. big let me make sure you're on the right here. oh right up there all right right here where my finger is is that the one you was on yeah that was the one you was on yeah it's too big Okay. So maybe it's a five eight. Hey Dub. Yeah. Look on that. Um, look in that tray, and look for it. Say five slash eight on the socket. Hmm. Am I looking in the right place? Uh, I mean, it, there's a whole bunch of sockets. Yeah, just keep. You just have to fumble your way through them to find them. Thank you. Here, just look, I'll give you an easier way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, look. Uh, let's see. Let's try this one. Hand me that back. All of it back, and we'll go to a different. This one actually has. Um, the numbers beside it so oh yeah let's look for oh it might it was too big you said yeah all right so let's try this hold that okay lefty loosey righty tidy right mm -hmm. so now it's got tension you hear it you hear that clicking yep that means it's not turning anything right mm -hmm. so that's that's going clockwise or right uh righty so that's going to the right, so mm -hmm. that's tightening, all right? But we want it to go, now you hear how it's not clicking? Yeah. All right, that's to the left or counterclockwise, that's lefty-loosey, all right? So that's how you know when you got a ratchet and you're, you can flip this black lever, and now it's tighten, loosen. Flip it, flip the black lever, there you go, all right? So try that and see if that works. Does that fit? It does, doesn't it? I think so. I think it does too. It might still be a little big. I think it might still be a little big. Let's see what? Too big? That might be a 9 16. See if we can spin yeah. that nut in there. It's still too big. It's like it kind of just falls in there. All right, so we'll get a nine. That might be a nine sixteenths. Yeah. Okay, look here. 
Um, I'm gonna lower this down just a little. Watch your head. There you go. Okay. Now, what y'all are gonna have to do is pull that out ever so slightly mm -hmm. together. This is the important part. Okay. Okay. See how the see how that steering wheel goes straight across right there. Yeah. Yeah. This part. Mm -hmm. Let's try to keep it that way. Yeah. Right? So pull it out just ever so slightly, and I'll try to get it lined up in here. All right, all right, hold on just a second. Okay, now can you push it back toward me? A little more. Uh, okay, now we need to line up those holes that you just took up. You have to look back under it. Mm -hmm. Now we got to line, we got to line these two, this and this. Can you see that bolt right there where my finger's at? Yeah, I can and see it on that side. And this side? Yeah. So these have to go up in there, and then these nuts have to go on. Can you see this one? Okay. See? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's push on. that up. Ooh, okay. Okay. Probably gonna have to go down in there somehow. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Push. No, it's not. We've got to go about an inch more. You push it That moved a little. Yeah. Getting closer? Uh, a little, but not. I need to keep it straight. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hold on. We got a horn? I don't like it. No. Um. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> we just got to we just got to keep doing that just a little bit. Y'all wiggling jiggling. It's not helping it. No? Hmm. Alright, uh, so y'all do this side down. Okay, I'll show you. Why don't you come up here and I'll show you? Oh, you're supposed to hold it. Okay, so grab this. Grab the column right there. Mm-hmm. And you just shake it back up. Yeah. Just keep Bring it. Alright, no. Alright, hold on. Dang. Oh, that's just the collar, so it needs to go down into that boot thing. Don't dent up the truck, Papa Ham. <laughs> push. push. No. I'm, oh, I'm pushing. <laughs> oh, I'm pushing. <sighs> um, so I think we just got the manhandle. Is it like in there though? Is it just not going all the way? Yeah, it's just, it's just hard to do. You know? Put some stuff on it to make it easier. Some slick them? Sure. Okay, but before I do that, let me get this. trying to clean this. Actually, let's do this. Does that come all the way off? No, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> okay, it's got to line up with that. Dang, this thing got cruise control? <laughs> I, I don't, I think the knob does, but I don't think we do. <laughs>
Uh, can you pull this, just pull this wire back out of the way so I don't cut it with this wheel? Yeah, and then this is far as it goes. Try the other side. Thank you. Oh. All right, let me get some slick. Thing that we got to decide. All right. Who's going to actually own the truck? Me. Who? Who? So we got to figure this part out now. You we think did. it's you, Dub? It's me. Yeah, what I about think you? it might be Dub. <laughs> you think you ain't going to argue? Okay. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking maybe y'all was going to flip a coin or fight for it or... We're going to have to duke it out or what? Duke it out or something. <laughs> I, She's so, scared of me. It's unlike sisters to argue and fight all the time, so I'm not sure about that. But what about? Because uh, I'm gonna be the one having to drive her around. <laughs> what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Who do you think should should actually own the truck when it gets done, or do you think they could split it 50 50? How how possible is that going to be with you girls? Oh, 50 50 would probably cause some arguments. <laughs> yeah, I would think so, wouldn't it? What about? Um, so the girls tried out for their cheerleading squad this week, and they made it. So I'm proud of them for doing yep. the cheerleading squad. Third year on varsity. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so let's take this. And let me, let me knock that down. So. That stuff smells funny. It smells good, though. Kind of. I can't tell what I think about it. Why are you breaking our truck? Why are you breaking our truck? <laughs> Y'all think we're going to get it good enough to put in the truck show? Not any truck shows around here. They're <laughs> just a bunch of squatted Tahoes. <laughs> okay, bring the uh, push it forward as much as you can. All right, come on with it. Man, that's beautiful. Is that, is that better? <laughs> uh, um, I mean, it looks good. We're like a quarter of an inch away from being inside the plastic. Okay. I wonder, I wonder. Something ain't right. Well, I wonder if the column is the same length. I wonder if that can go down some. Well, I'm trying to. Does that? Doesn't look like it. See how it's two pieces there? Oh, yeah. Because it's where. All right, you push. Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, man. Oh my gosh. I know. All right, hold on. Was it not fitting already? I may have to see how it's, see how it's, the, the little piece goes into the big piece. Yeah. Well, you think it goes in I, there. I think, Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, true. <laughs> but I feel, I feel like it does. See that it's tapered right there. Oh yeah. And so I feel like it travels up and down. Yeah. So I think it needs to travel. So, okay, pull it back out, please. Is that good? No. Nah. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah, that's, that should be good. That's mine. There it goes. Now let's see if I can... Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll figure this out. Let's... Push it, uh, just go ahead and push it back in. Hold push on. Push it back I'm... in now. You're not gonna make, the, you're not gonna connect with the steering column. Just push it in as far as it'll go. I mean, until it lines up. And let me just see how much we gotta do. Let's try to get one. And let me give you these uh, nuts. You got the nuts? Um, yeah. I'm fiddle farting with the AC thing. All right, try to so just run them on there just a little. Yeah, I need another one. I'll get the other side. Here, I got it. Just enough to keep it from falling down. Okay, let's go out and take a look at it. How far off are we? Because that's where it needs like to be. Like an inch. Oh. Yeah, so I, I think well, that has to go down. It's like two inches. 
I'll figure that out. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just go ahead and get the oil change. Actually, you want to uh, turn it over and crank it up? See what happens? That's what I'm talking about. So at least it's driving, right? Uh, this thing has great steering. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you cut it off. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna fix that. I'll 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 work on this steering column. Let's go ahead and get the oil changed and get the rear diff fluid changed. All right, and that's a little easier project. And me and your dad, me and your dad will. Y'all gonna have to put some strength to that. I probably one. have to heat this up and bang, beat and bang it and all that stuff, but we'll get <laughs> we'll get it done. Okay. Spider whip. Okay. Uh, so here's. Here's our oil filter and drain plug. Uh -huh. All right. So give me a nine sixteenths uh, dough. So we're gonna take this off, but listen, we can't. We got to have that drain plug in here. I'm in a really bad spot. <laughs> and once we, once nine you take that sixteenths. Do I need to move the bucket over here? Uh, yeah. So that's called a drain pan. All right. Good job. You want it on this thing, or? We got to put it position it so it's under here. Right? See? Huh. Oh. Now, let's put, this is a drain, this is your oil pan. Okay. All right, and this is called your drain plug, okay? So let's see if a 9 16 fits on that. Let's take this extension off so you can have a little more control over it. Now I'll let you take the oil filter off, okay? Oh, yay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now. So when I get this thing off though, do I need to catch the little bolt? Yeah, move over, move over out of the way a little bit because I'm going to try to catch most of it here. Let's see which way you're going with it. Uh, you need to put it on there and then pull down. Pull down? Yeah, pull back toward the back of the truck. Watch it. Tell me what it's There you go. Now, look here. You can probably do it with your fingers now. Take it. Now, be careful because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out. It's going to get out on real fast. Is it? I'm kind of scared. Is he? It's gonna come out real fast. If there's oil in it. <laughs> if there is. We checked it. This thing's making oil. There it goes. Okay, now we just let it down. Here's the rule about drain pan plugs, okay? <coughs> well, I mean, you crank that up, I got all kind of dust in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry uh, about that one. When you drain this out, it, uh, uh you sh every time you put the drain plug back in, you need to tighten it. We're going to need a new transmission pan gasket, which is something that we'll have There's to take care of. There's a hole in that tire. What's that? What are these holes? There. <clears throat> so this will, while this is draining, we could go ahead and take the uh, um, oil filter out. All right. So... You want to let your sister in here and I'll show her how to take the oil filter off. Here, the, what do you want me to do with this? Uh, I'll take care of it. Oh. Okay, this is your oil filter right here. Okay? Uh-huh. Now, we're going to take this off and we're going to go this way with it, right? Count lefty loose. Uh -huh. All right. So, can you see if you can get it with your hand first. If not, we'll get the tool. Because when we put this thing on, we're not going to tighten it down so <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Um, I don't think you can do right. that. Black handle, this black handle with big curved jaws on it. I think it's a hint of red. That's it. Yep, that's a filter wrench. So we let this drain. Alright, grab that to you. There you go. Okay, so clamp onto that. So put your handles like up in oh so put your handle like this right here oh there you go let's see if you can clamp on that can you get up in there might have to come from the other side all right i'm not I'm trying not to get all up in this oil <laughs> dang that's the fun part what are you talking about oh i don't want oil all over me okay now we're gonna come toward me with it okay I don't think I can do that. Ooh. Oh! That's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to 
other than being a mechanic. You got that one now. Uh, all right, hold on a sec. Let me get some of <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's a lot of oil though coming up out of that thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, whoever put that one on there. Perfectly, perfectly. Got it good. Oh, did I just put a hole in it? Um, yes, I'm gonna see. Uh, yeah, back up. Do we have a new one of those? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just dented the entire thing. Man, they're proud of it. Uh oh. <laughs> Leaking oil. Yeah, we broke it. Or he broke it. I didn't. Yeah, sometimes. Golly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who put that on there, but it had to have been like the Hulk or something. I don't even know. <laughs> okay, here's what. All right, so the oil. We'll put this back in here. So grab the uh, Ooh, socket, the ratchet in the socket. Can Z. <laughs> the one that you use to take it off with. There you go, that's it, yep. All right, flip your um, flip the black lever to tighten it, and let's tighten this down. So you're gonna come up toward the front of the truck. Yeah, that thing is on there. So what you're going to want to do, not let it splatter everywhere, try to keep it as clean as possible. But I'll show you a trick. Of, oh, I'm sorry. You're good. Let me get some more rags here. Okay, so here's our new oil filter. And what you do with you get a, a new oil filter, mm -hmm. right? See how it's got this? This is called an O-ring, this black rubber gasket. Mm -hmm. It's called an O-ring. Who's going to put this back on? I want to put it back on. Let's okay, see. so here's what you do. Can I take the sticker off? No, at least sticker off. Okay, now, oh. take your finger. Uh-huh. True story. Take your finger uh -huh. and dip it in this oil. Oh, why did I just <laughs> yeah. do this? And then make a ring around your... Is that enough? No, that's not enough. Uh. There you go. That's good. <laughs> and then, around now trace thing? it. While you're doing it, all you're doing is simply lubricating that. Ooh. Does it look like it's lubricated? Or uh, do you need more? No, I think it's fine. <laughs> or you're just saying that because you don't want to dip your finger back in the oil? <laughs> too late now. Alright. I think she, I think it's fine. I got a little bit on your knuckle there. It's fine. Okay. Alright, see this right here? Yeah. That's where the, that's where it goes. And you're going to turn it, start spinning it toward the back of the truck. Is it on there? I can't tell. Ooh, I don't know if that's the right. Oh, it's I don't know if it's the right. Let me put it I up against this one. Match on it. Me. Match it to see if that matches. No, uh, ring to ring. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Okay, good. Yeah. Alright. I just don't think I'm getting it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. 
Now when you're putting on an oil filter, you ain't got to crank this thing down like 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 we did. I mean like they did. Alright. Okay. So let me turn it just a little bit more. It's gonna kinda get it hand tight. And that's all you need right there. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be anything on it. Nope, I don't think so. Nope, we're good. All right, so all the holes out of it. Right, right yeah, out. I got that. Oh, well. <laughs> thought I had it. Okay, all right. So when you use a funnel, so a lot of times funnels are, you know, you just keep them, they don't, they don't get used very often. So go ahead and clean out your funnel before you use it because that gets all like kind of the dirt and debris out of it a little bit. So. Use that funnel. Way back here. Yep. Just twist it off or pull it off or. There you go. We're gonna stick that down in there like so. All right. Do you think you can pull it in there without spilling it everywhere? If you hold the funnel. All right, I'll hold the funnel. All right, so what's going to happen is pour like 90, pour like 80% of it in there. Oh, 20, 80. Come on. Hold on. I got you, dog. They're here. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that oh. really worked, didn't it, Z? Not as well as I wanted it to work. <laughs> all right, pull that all the way off. Hold on, hold pull on. Pull it on. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay. All right, I'll hold the phone. Try not to spill that everywhere. Okay, see how it's gulping? Mm -hmm. Okay, so look here. If you put the spout, well, you can do it that way, but if you turn the spout up toward the top, then it won't gulp like that because the air in it will be at the bottom or push his way out of the top. I don't know how it works, but. <laughs> Hold up, it's filling up in there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna take a minute. It's okay. My legs are killing me. Is your face hurting? Because <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> Oh snap! <laughs> okay, check out your dipstick and see. It ain't. We're not. Should, it should be registering, but it ain't going to be fooled by no stretch of the imagination. Mm. No, not yet. The rear diff is going to be fun too. <laughs> so these are called valve covers. What we're bring. What we're putting the uh, oil into. A valve. The valves are under there. Mm -hmm. How much more do I need to do? Uh, right, right there. Yeah, we need some. It, it may take all five quarts, but we'll see. So we're getting there. Oh, give me a little. Come up a little. Oh, aim, aim more toward the big part. <laughs> You're doing a perfect job. Ho. Oh. So if you get oil on your valve covers and stuff like this, when you crank it up, it'll like burn. It, it'll smell like burnt oil. Yeah. Cause it'll get hot. Okay. I mean, it has to so, be almost full. No, not not quite yet. <laughs> so we're using what they call 10W30, and those numbers. Okay, you're good there. You're good there. Let's try that and let's see how that is. But anyway, the 10W30 is, there, oh, careful. Um, those numbers mean like the weight of the oil and the viscosity of it. And so different uh, engines take different weights, different temperatures take different weights. I can't see. Yeah, it's right there at the full line. Full says right there and oh. it's right there, pretty dang close. Pretty dang close. Okay, 
Oh, something we didn't do that we should have done, I totally forgot. When we put that fuel filter, I mean, when we put the oil filter on, we should have filled that up first, and I totally forgot. So whenever you put your oil filter on, mm -hmm. fill it up, because now that oil has to go through that filter into the engine, where, so the engine is turning yeah. without fresh oil. Let's put just a little bit more in there, just a little bit, because we got to account for that. So we'll just go just a tick over. Yeah, I forgot all about that. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's probably good. Look at y'all. That's totally fine. Thank y'all for taking care of me, Grandpa. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so the end is full. Alright, so let's put that back on there. Alright, just push hard. There you go. Perfect. We're going to be putting a new carburetor on it. We're going to be putting new rocker panels on it. We're going to be putting new, um, um, what else did I order? A lot. I ordered a lot of stuff. <laughs> window things. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, window cranks, stuff like that. So it's going to be good. All right, so the oil is changed. So that's how you change the oil. Now we've got to change the rear differential fluid because it's probably never been changed neither. So let's go ahead and get into that. And that's, that's, uh, that's fun. <laughs> So let's go downstairs. This is what they call a 10 bolt rear end. All right, so mm -hmm. the reason it's 10 bolts is if you count them, two, Let four, me guess, six, there's eight. 10? Yeah, let's see, <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten. So this is a 12 bolt rear end. Oh, all right. Uh, because it's got 12 bolts in it. So when you're changing the rear diff, mm -hmm. diff is short for differential. Yep. And, uh, so we're going to take these off. So let's get another 9 16 but let's use it. We're going to have to impact. And when, when this thing comes off, it's going to, we'll, we'll take this, these bottom ones loose first. Uh -huh. And then the oil will drain from here, and then yeah. we fill it from the back side there. So you got to, uh, let me get the, let's see what size. You need a little smaller or the half inch? I mean, uh, uh well, I don't know. It's catching, but it's not really here, catching. Let me, try, let me see. So I don't know. Nah, it's smaller. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you talking about, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so what color do y'all think? What color y'all think we're gonna paint this? Blue. Light blue. Light blue. Okay. Let's see. Give her the beans. All right, Z, I'm gonna hand you, go ahead. You got that one? Yeah, I got this. I'm gonna hand you these, don't lose them, okay? Cause I gotta go back in here, let's go. Oh. All right, come on. So we have to clean these up. This, this rubber stuff on there is called RTV and we're gonna put new RTV on it. Okay. You want me to get this one over here? Yeah, I'll let me. We're gonna leave the. We're gonna leave the. We're gonna leave the two on top. Oh. Up top. Okay, just loosen these, but try not to. Try not to take them all the way out. Just kind of. There you go. Now that's good. Perfect, actually. Oh. Okay, that's perfect. Actually, we just leave the top one. This is it. Now. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, be careful. I'm like, oh gosh. We fix and we fix and lay into it right now. Mm. Uh, here, I'll try this. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't. I get that. You're doing good. Might have to do uh, might have to do the old uh, tapity tap tap on it. Let me get a hammer. Ooh, there's like a rubber lip. Is it supposed to be in front or behind that? In between it. That one. Might need a smaller pry bar. Let's see. 
work some work some stuff up here. Oh gosh. Almost like they didn't want to stain the leak. You better watch out. Yeah, I know. I'm about to get taken out by the oil bucket. I can see it moving. Golly. About off. I can see it. This thing does not want to go, bruh. Let me try. <laughs> I think it's working. I don't think it's doing <laughs> anything. Whew, we just gotta keep on working it, that's all. Once we get the bottom of it done, we'll be in good shape. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at all the water. That is not good. That's what, remember he said he was investigating the knocking noise and the... It obviously has a back tire off the rim, but he told me that he was investigating a knocking noise in the, the rear end. Uh-huh. How did water get in that? That's a good question. That was my eyeball. Oh, gross. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's dog hunting for you. Look at that. Ooh. You think that needed to be changed? Oh, what that mail? <laughs> what that mail? What that mail? What that mail? What that mail is? Ooh. Oh. Gross. Good lord. Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah, I would say that needed to be changed. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Big surprises in the C10. Oh, look at Ew. that. Ew. Come here, girl. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Is this a C10 or a K10? I, I mean, K10, yeah. My bad. Okay. So let's move these out of the way. Oh, that is so nasty. Smells not good. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, we have a blue paper type, blue rag right here. You gonna uh, need more than a blue rag. Oops. Are we putting that same diff cover thing back on it? Uh, yeah, for now. Okay. But look at the water still just in there. Yeah, that's not a good sign, is it? You can just bring that whole box in here if you don't look mind. Look at it. All right. I'm just gonna. Clean this up a little bit. Wow, look at all that. Ooh. That's a slush, straight up slush. Mm -hmm. You getting your sun suntan on? Yeah. With me getting every time I break open something, I see water and sludge and oil. And... All right, 
I need um, this. I wonder, we'll check, you know, obviously it leaked for a reason, but hopefully when we get this new gasket and stuff put on it, it won't leak, so I'm going to... This is the fun part, right? So take, this is called a gasket scraper, it looks like a screwdriver, but it's not. And let's take that rubber piece off there, is that ASMR? ASMR. See if you can pull it. There you go. You can't like rip it. Uh -uh. I'm getting there. Four days later. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, ow. Here you go. Let me, get, <laughs> let me grab some of that. Let me get some of this action. Come on. Well, okay, we gotta get it all off or it won't make a good seal. This is called RTV, and we're gonna put high temp RTV on there to re replace this old stuff we're taking off. It's co the color of it. This is black, and I think they make different colors for different temperatures, but we're gonna go with a high temperature, because that's what it, we're supposed to do. How often do you have to change these things? Uh, you have to change the oil in them about every 60,000 miles. I'm going to hit it with some brake cleaner after we're done. This will keep a lot of it there. Uh, try not to... Try not to get the uh, paper towel to get wrapped up in that. It'll get wrapped up in there. Oh, I can dry. Let me get you some safety glasses. We're pretty close to that. Yeah. Come on. Like this yeah. You don't have to angle you don't have to angle it, you know. The paper cow trick might not work. Okay, just so just keep it kind of.
hurts so bad. What'd you do? I stabbed myself. Any more little pieces of rubber like that? Not really. Right there. I'll put, I'll put some more brake on there in it. I think it's done. Alright. My paper towel trick didn't work as good as I thought it was going to. But it's just paper, it ain't like it's metal shavings, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, let me spray it now with some brake cleaner. <laughs> I got some more somewhere. That's up there. <laughs> so close. Wow, there you go. My finger, or eyes. I got safety goggles on, I'm chilling. Okay, um, Z, go into that room and on the table, as soon as you walk in the door on the left, there's this stuff right here, okay? You tell me to take long that one? Long black can. Okay, so now the fun part. We get to um, draw, actually take this and dry, uh, dry the um, ring off, you know, the, where we're going to put the nuts and bolts. Yeah, dry that off real good. That's going to keep leaking there, so just dry the rest of it off. We'll let that sit, or you can stick a towel in there for now. All right, let me show y'all what we're gonna do next. Come on. Okay. So this is high temp red type 650 RTV silicone. So basically you can make your own gasket with that, okay? So what you're gonna do, I wonder is that bent or is that the way it's contoured? Um, I'm pretty sure it was like that. You, th you think it was? I think so. Okay, so see these, see this right here? Uh-huh. See, that's designed so that you can take it and poke a hole in it like mm -hmm. that, right? And then, we'll cut the tip of it off here. And now, what we're going to do is, we're going to take, we're going to screw that on there, and we're going to trace the outside of this all the way. Mm -hmm. Like that, and then around each. I want to do this part. Okay, we can do half and half. Yeah, well, we're going to do the bottom too. Oh, so. well, then you can do that part because oh, you're already I'm down there. Go ahead and do this one. <laughs> Why you're already down there? Or half and half. That doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, we'll do half and half. Like your icing a gingerbread house. Like your icing a gingerbread house. Does it have to be thicker? Yeah. I ain't saying she's a lot thicker, but have you seen the way she eats the Snickers? Because remember, this is what's going to. This is what's going to seal. This is what's going to keep all the gear oil from coming out of it. Why ain't it coming out? <laughs> oh, it smells bad. No, it smells like vinegar. Yeah, it does. Well, you have a little bit more. I was saying, like right there. <laughs> <laughs> it don't really matter, does it? 
Yeah, the 50 50. Oh, Tinder, so, no, you're fired. Dude, this is hard to come out, dude. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. what? I have no idea what you just said. Said it's hard for it to come out. Okay. <laughs> is it not gonna dry? Uh-uh. What is her muffin? How do you put oil in the weird dish? Uh, there's a bolt we haven't taken out yet. Mm. Haven't taken out yet. So is more oil going to come out? Uh-uh. No, uh. it's on the top. The, the fuel plug's on the top. They're not fun. This ain't fun. You got the rest. Have fun. <sighs> Took the breath out of me. Took the breath? Took my breath out. Try to put as much as you can get on there. Isn't it hard? I told you. It does stink, don't it? Yeah, it smells like vinegar. A little thin there. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Are y'all going to name this truck? Eventually. We already had a name for it. Oh, you did? What was it? Yeah, what was it? Because <laughs> I don't know. It was a sticker I wanted to get made for it. Salt Life. No. You know the <laughs> owner of Salt Life killed somebody? What? What? Yeah, Brittany was telling me and Taylor yesterday. Let me see something right quick. No, remember the sticker? The oh, Tower yeah. sticker. But I didn't know if that was going to be. Is that like, is that like inappropriate? Like, Salt Life? No. no. Twin Towers? Twin Towers. Oh. I didn't hear. I wasn't listening to y'all. Uh, no, it ain't inappropriate. Y'all are the Twin Towers, ain't you? Yeah, but... No, man. We I don't know if that's like a touchy subject. Yeah, that's all. I'm like, I don't know if that's like a. <laughs> no, only only crazy people think it's not a. I mean, that's a part of our history that was not a good day. In, it was not a good day in our history, you know. That's why your Papa Ham went to war a lot. <laughs> Were you in the Air Force when that happened? I was. I was at Robbins Air Force Base, and as soon as that happened, I went to the Middle East for a long time. Dang, that one was a lot. We don't want it to leak. <laughs> Definitely ain't going to be leaking on my side. Maybe Kendall's yeah, my little side might, circles. That one especially. Well, yeah, to be, to be fair, I did make the hole bigger. <laughs> yeah, but I was doing a good job before you did that. Yeah, this is true. Now we're going to need to start these bolts. So someone's... Oh, we, need, we really need to... It's okay because I'm just a little. It's not too bad. You can put some more like right here, can see. Yeah, it needs definitely needs some right there. So next time your dad comes over, we'll get that steering column put together okay. and get the uh, shifter, the transmission shifter. Put it right here on this one right here. here. This one needs a little bit. Is it gonna like burn me? Nah. All right, let's go figure out the. Uh, let's go do the other one there. around the holes on this one too. No, here I'll get I get Z. That's wrong, because is there like a bolt thing right there? What? It was like this, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Well, is Where? that just a hole right there? Uh, yeah. Oh, I think I put it. Can't yeah. remember how to take yeah, it Yeah, it goes like that. Like that? Yep. No. Go, no. Uh. Go down. No, it was, that was the right. All your bolts were completely wrong. Not right there? Because I did not pull that long thing. Oh, well, now you're just moving it. Papa Hammer firing you too. No kidding. Uh, I'm not exactly a... Look on, <coughs> look on the other side and see how it looks. It goes like that. Like that. That's it. Okay. Um, oh, here they are. That red stuff is everywhere. No, I'm fighting. So give me a little push. Oh gosh. <laughs> I hate whoever has to do this next time. <laughs> uh, yeah. You gonna be y'all, ain't it? Yeah. No, I'll take it. I'll just bring it to you. Okay. Does this one go on that thing up top? I mean, it can if you want it to. Okay, they're so it doesn't matter? No, they're all the same. Okay. I'm working. Dub, you can get us the impact wrench. The yellow and black. Um, where? Uh, I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. There's the grinder. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Uh, but I need the... Well, I was expecting it to... I need the uh, extension of the nine... The extension of the... Or was it a half inch? Um, I think these were half inches. The half is missing, so we're gonna go over. Okay. Yeah. You wanna put them on? Sure. I'm not a fan of all the silicone on there. Here we go. I have it. Get rid of beans. Clean that up. <laughs> so we don't want this to leak, right? So we're going to go Did you hear the different noise? I mean, yeah. the different sound. Oops. All right, let me see. There's a torch. There's a torch back there. So now, let's look on the, so roll back in there, and you'll see some, alright, let me see, let me see what size that is, uh, see if that, see if that fits in it, just see if it fits in it, don't, don't twist it yet. Mm. 
No, too big. Too big. Okay. Okay, so take the, uh, take the... Where's that socket at that I just took off of it? Z, uh, duh. Uh, it's on that, that silver socket that yeah. I just... Yeah, it's got an it's got an adapter on the end of yeah. it. Yeah. All right, see if this fits in there. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's see if that fits in there. Yeah. Mm, not really, but. Not really. Okay, let me go get some square. It might. I just don't think I'm strong enough to push it in there. It probably does. Watch your, watch, your, watch your eyeballs here. You can stay where you're at. Oops, wrong way. Press that black button on my thumb. No, no. Yes. All right, go ahead. Okay. All right, that's called the fill plug there. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to fill that full of oil until... It comes out until it starts leaking out very slowly. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me go get the oil for you. This this is gonna be this is difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I mean, you literally just have to put that in there. Be careful not spilling on you, okay? Uh, yeah, now squeeze the bottle until the bottle's empty. Or until it starts filling up on. And when it starts pour, when it starts overflowing, that means it's full. <laughs> Good advice. But we're going to need more than that, but that's okay. I got more. What else do we got to do today? That's it. We're going to be done after this. So this is a 73 axle. I feel like you need to cut the little top more. Let me go get the gear oil while she's doing that. Feel like you're about to get empty? No. Really? Oh. I don't know if that's... That might have just been... Here, let me get you a rag, because if it... I, don't, I think it takes more than that. I mean, I, I would assume so. It may not. So let's try that off and see if it continues to... Z! Quit! What, did you have Mexican last night? Okay, let me give you some more. I wish. Me... Mexican would have been so good. Though. There you go, let me give you some more. Else, there you go. I only got this one bottle, so we gotta transfer the fluids. Yeah, I was about to say, how do you expect me to pour that? Oh. Is it ever fun? I think it's about done. Yeah, it's yeah, still dripping. Okay. You sure? I'm Let me... pretty sure. Look, I would wipe it clean. Oh, I can't even see it that good. Okay, now go ahead and put more in there. Hold on. Is that right? What's the bottle say on it? 32 ounces. 32. Yeah. yeah. So it should take both those bottles. Mom, and then a little I bit. I am hungry. Yeah, we're going to go eat lunch here in a minute. 
Yeah, yeah. It's we'll we'll still leaking. What's that? Still leaking. Yeah, what'd you do with that flashlight that you had? That was a good idea. Mm. Thank you. That actually, I think that's it right there. Yeah. <laughs> now dab the front of it. There you go. Now take your your plug is just above your hand there. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. Now run it in, not so, not so tight with this, but just enough to kind of. Well, I can keep hand tightening that. Did you already flip it? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I didn't. I lied. Okay. Oh, just a tick more. There you go. That's probably good. All right, take your um, rag and see if you can wipe it off a little bit. <clears throat> All right, cool. Perfect. All right, hey, we got the oil change, got the diff fluid change. Uh, there's a lot, there's a few little things left to do before we get sent off to the paint booth. So we got some videos coming up on that. Dub and Z will be here helping us along the way. Uh, their dad and I will take care of that steering column issue. And, uh, but what do you think? I, I think mean, it's, it's going pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah good. I think so too. We got to figure out a name for this truck though. Oh yeah? Yeah. What do you like? We were thinking Twin Towers because, you know, we're twins. All right, we're that, actually triplets. We live live when at home. <laughs> but uh, let me know what y'all think. And make sure y'all like and subscribe, obviously. Yeah, and you guys, we got a playlist of this truck that's uh, that, that I'll link below. Make sure you guys go check out Michael Pro Tools. Go MichaelPro.com. HF15 will get you 15% off those tools, and we appreciate them helping us with this project. You guys take care. God bless. We'll talk to you later.